Let's bring in Brian Claypool, criminal defense attorney and civil rights attorney, also Mercedes Colwyn, a Fox News legal analyst. Um, you hear that story and it gives you chills with disgust, Mercedes. Um, a 14 year old victim. And that's just one, okay, who was brave enough to come out and have this exclusive interview with Brian Yanis. There are so many more, and I guarantee you that they will all be coming out. Uh, and now that Epstein's dead, uh, does Maxwell have every incentive to talk? What a great question. I mean, yes, I mean, just listening to the painful voice, I mean, this poor woman who just as a child was repeatedly raped by Maxwell and Epstein, it's allegedly, obviously these are all allegations, but... The prosecutors have to rush and unpackage all the knowledge and information that Maxwell has because their greatest challenge is keeping Maxwell alive. We already know that there are suspicious circumstances surrounding Epstein's death. Maxwell holds the key to all these individuals that are involved. Who are the men that also participate in the rape of these children? This is one of the largest pedophile sex ring cases in history. We need to know everyone that's involved. Who provided the money? Who provided the recruitment of these young women? Who raped these young girls and sexually abused them? There's so much information and documentation and just the intellectual capital that Maxwell has is unbelievable. So get that information and get it down quickly and start bringing in the enormous amount of information. And starting, of course, with some of these victims who are brave enough to come forward and confront Maxwell. I mean, Brian, we know that there are rape victims um, at the hands of Epstein, but now, you know, there are rape victims at the hands of Ghislaine Maxwell. Um, I'm wondering if the DOJ will strike a deal with her. Now, we know of this one particular case, but there may be, may be more. I mean, if she were to turn over names, she could potentially strike some kind of plea deal. But if she herself is a rapist, that kind of changes the whole story, doesn't it? Yeah, great to be back with you, Julie, and happy 4th. I mean, this is a real game changer because the, the current indictment against Ms. Maxwell does not include mm -hmm. her allegedly raping a victim. She's been charged with, for example, conspiring exactly. to, to rape victims uh, and for transporting these young girls across state lines. So I would expect the U.S. Attorney General to add additional charges against Ms. Maxwell for rape. And that then gives the U.S. attorney some extra leverage to cop some sort of plea bargain with Ms. Maxwell to get to the bottom of who's in that black book. Because remember, when Epstein was in jail, he died, the black book disappeared. This is a ripe opportunity right. for the prosecutor to get to the bottom of this. Oh. She's got a copy somewhere or she destroyed it. But I mean, I, I have to go. But Mercedes, there's a co-author of a book about Epstein's death and basically says that, you know, his power friends should be shaking in their boots right. because just think of the many, many friends of Jeffrey Epstein who were relieved sure. after he died are probably pretty terrified at this moment. Oh, you're exactly right, Julie. That orbit between Maxwell and Epstein is an orbit of the most powerful men in the world. They're coming down. Prince Andrew obviously has been one of them who had a disastrous interview with BBC when he was confronted with these allegations. Absolutely disastrous. And of course, even former President Clinton has been the question as well. All right. Um, thank you both, Brian Claypool and uh, Mercedes Colwyn. This story is just beginning and we'll have thank you back you. to talk more about it as it unfolds. Thank you both. Thank you. Happy 4th.